Hi, uh, this is a uh, continuation of the virtual uh, distributed switch features. Um, previously, I uh, demonstrated migrating this DV center to the distributed switch. Of course, it doesn't make sense if you have uh, hundreds of thousands of VMs uh, migrating one by one. Um, I will demonstrate here. Uh, I run already all the VMs I have. I have uh, the WTOT 2003 standard and also the Red Hat 4 on standard switch. So let's migrate the two in one. Um, let's click home and go networking. And in here, virtual machines. And I think we can right click here and no migration maybe it's in here migrate uh, virtual machine networking so we select the source VM network and the destination of course the DV fourth group and then show virtual machine so uh, the reason that we have this one is a template so um, we will not put that Actually, we can put that as well. Yeah, you cannot see this one on the host and net uh, on the host because it's a template. You can only see that on the template. So let's include that. Click OK. And the background is doing it. So one of them failed. So probably it's because it's a template. That's why it failed. Uh, the the, the W2003 is already completed. Click back host and cluster. So this one is now distributed switch, and the Red Hat is also now in distributed switch. So that's how to uh, migrate multiple uh, VMs. And if you will look in the DB switch uh, virtual machines, the three are now are now listed. Um, there's another demonstration I need to show you. It's um, since um, we have available um, NIC now, um, we can put that NIC to be uh, another redundant NIC on the distributed switch. If we look back on the configuration networking of the ESX, we can s if we, we can if we click this, this distributed switch, we can see now the virtual machine that, that is running right now, which is W2003. Um, so what we can do is um, we will move this console and this uh, this VM network uh, VM network on the distributed switch and we can do that by manage virtual machine and say add and we will not create new one we will migrate and we will only select the service console and fourth group That's on the standard port group. Click next. Hold on. We need to go to the DV port. And click next. Migrating one blah 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 can host in inaccessible over the network. Um, so the if there is someone connected to the console, so that will have a down an outage for a couple of probably seconds or minutes so in this case no one is doing that but in the rea in the production you should do that on the at night or if no one is using it um, DB switch one um, okay so I think that this is just finished we cannot do anything anyway and on the distributed switch we can see now the service console is here which is uh, if we go back to the virtual switch, the console is not, not is not there anymore. So let's also migrate the VM network. 
um, actually we don't need to uh, migrate this VM network we can remove this one um, so this one is not it's now available so what we can do on that available NIC we can put that on the um, add that to the uh, available NIC and which is the BM NIC 0 and it say here because it's an anaclaim adapter so if you want to identify which is uh, available you click OK and then click OK here and you will see now that the adapters is supposed to be um, there are two uh, available uplink now so if you compare that to ESX2 configuration networking and on the distributed switch we haven't done anything here it's only the uplink on that one is only one NIC so on this one I will not show you because I don't have time I will just do it on the background uh, anyway I will show you okay so this one the B switch 0 have a console and the BM network that is unused um, actually that is not unused because actually I put the template there so I think we cannot delete uh, you know what let's delete the template for now uh, I don't know what to do with that so uh, I don't want to jeopardize this demonstration, so um, delete from desk. Okay, while he's deleting that, let's go back to the host and cluster. And this one should show no uh, no BM or BM, uh, BM template. So again, in here on the distributed switch of ESX2, we can click manage the adapter and click add, which is the only option we have. Uh, migrate, and the only thing that we will migrate is the service console, and we will select the DV4 group here, which is the only one on the selection. So click next, click yes, and finish, and click close, and let's go back to the. Uh, virtual switch and it's completed so this one is unused we can delete uh, remove that click yes and okay the, re the removal was done so we can click the physical uh, adapters management and then click uh, to the second uh, uplink that we need to add and click OK here and then click OK there and this should be refreshed later on which is there's two uplink now and on ESX3 the service console is still on the standard switch and we will put it there again manage adapter click add migrate next and check all this and select the only selection there we have click next and click yes and finish click ok so remove this BM network that is not used anyway and on the distributed switch click physical uh, adapter management and add NIC to the uplink so that we have two uplink now and the two uplink are now there so um, that will conclude my uh, distributed switch uh, demonstration for this video.